So gas prices are down a staggering 56% since the beginning of the year. According to Nat Gas Weather, they're saying that storage surpluses are likely in the coming weeks due to light demand and warmer weather. However, things can change later this year. You have Europe, who has failed to secure enough long-term LNG, which is, uh, stands for liquefied natural gas, contracts to compensate for the cuts in Russian gas imports. This means that Europe might be forced to buy more from the spot market like it did in 2022 when we've seen this huge spike in natural gas prices, which in turn is likely to push natural gas prices up. So what we're looking at right now, this is the chart of UNG, it's an ETF that tracks the direction of natural gas on a daily time frame. And the benchmark is the futures contract of natural gas traded on the NYMEX. Now two months ago I did a video on UNG and I stated that if we go to the monthly chart that we were close to a bottom right and In that video, I specified that I don't want to see prices just shoot straight up, right? I want to see price shoot straight up and then actually make a lower low, right? Which would signify divergence if you had some type of oscillating indicator. And I also stated in that video that I had longer term price targets for UNG, one at 14 which is the gap fill and a second target at 20 which is just a psychological round hole number and let's see how things are playing out since I made that video two months ago I did not adjust anything but things are going according to plan again this was made two months ago so I wanted to see a pop up and then a lower low, which we got. So we are close to price really bottoming. Um, confirmation of that bottom will be across above and a close above the $10 level. However, I'm going to start buying options, long dated options, when that signal comes. Let's go to the daily chart. And again, we can see price kind of playing out. And that's what I mean by divergence. So on the daily chart, we made lower lows. But on the RSI, we are, you could say, even to slightly up. Right. So last summer, was a very hot period around the world. We had rivers drying up, lakes drying up. Who's to say that it won't be the same this summer? At least in the northeast, we had a warmer than normal winter. You know, that can translate into a normal than warmer summer. Uh, not only for the northeast, but for the United States. Not only for the United States, but for the world. Um, People are going to have to run their AC. You're going to have uh, natural gas power plants producing electricity using up that natural gas. Again, if we have an issue going into the fall winter time frame, like we had in Europe, where the electricity bill was 5x the U.S. electricity bill, that's bullish for natural gas. Now, if we look at the monthly chart again, we can see it wasn't that long ago. August, only August of last year, price hit 30, $34. So we're almost there. I will provide another update with the buy signal 
to get in. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please like the video.